Hey guys, long time no vlog, but I am really getting to the point where I think everything is starting to calm down and I have just a few minutes to spare to be able to kind of show you guys some of the fun things that are happening behind the scenes over here in the vlog channel, which I'm so excited about because this really builds up such a sense of community, even more so than building up our Patreon and and working with the community and the Discord that we have really started over the past few months. I really feel like vlogging is a super important way for me to kind of show you guys some of the daily joy in a very unique and kind of an important way to just show you like, hey, I'm human, I'm a goose, I I make mistakes, I go through struggles, I have successes, I try and try and try again at some things, I can be really stubborn, I can be really silly, I can be really creative, and I feel like, uh, especially as our community on the main channel grows, it's really important to be able to show you guys just a normal daily life in my life, which is pretty quirky when I actually think about it, but I kind of love sharing that aspect of it with you guys too. So welcome back to the vlog channel. It has been a little while. Autumn has come on in full force and with Autumn has come the loss of the sun. It is actually a pretty gray day here, November 1st uh, in Michigan. I was joking in an update vlog over on the main channel that the Australians have kidnapped or borrowed the sun for the winter. And that's actually something Chips told me because I have a really hard time in case you guys don't know when it hits winter I think it's a beautiful season I love autumn I love the leaves of autumn I love the changes that Michigan especially goes through the the seasons are so extreme here in a way not like extreme like ooh, extreme weather but they really express themselves so beautifully you have such a rush of new life and and gentle beautiful floral flowers popping up everywhere in spring summer is really really rich in greenery autumn has the changing of the colors of the leaves just very dramatic and lovely and then winter has very very calm atmosphere to so just like settle down on our home here in Ann Arbor and you can smell wood smoke everywhere and it snows and it has that sense of peace and isolation even though we're in the middle of the city and I really really love all of the seasons so whenever I talk about how hard autumn can be for me and how hard winter can be for me I'm not talking about like oh they're not my favorites I'm talking about seasonal affective disorder so I'm talking about sad and dealing with sad that's the acronym for seasonal affective disorder for a long time I didn't understand what sad was I thought my moodiness was just the moodiness of the fact that finals were every December for pretty much my entire teenage and early adult life going through high school and then going through college who doesn't feel a little bit down with the rush of finals coming and then the year just gets busier it gets colder you're physically a little bit more uncomfortable especially if you're like me and you've yet to invest in a proper jacket for winter still <laughs> But all of those things kind of added up and for a long time during most of my early adult life I thought my moodiness during winter was related to just the, the grayer days and related to just all the stress that comes with the end of the year and you know you make your new year's resolutions in January and that can be a fun or not so fun time for reflection. So I didn't know I had seasonal affective disorder for a very long time and I only found out when I moved up into the mountains of Boone and it got much more extreme because the sunlight changed. Suddenly being up in the mountains, I wasn't as exposed to daily quantities of sunlight that I had been up until that point for most of my life in Missouri and in the foothills of North Carolina. And when we moved into the mountains of Boone in North Carolina, I really hit a wall once winter hit and I just knew something's not right and a lot of people who go through depression can also understand what I'm saying like it's different than when you're feeling moody it's different than when you're sad there is some little voice inside of you that's looking around going okay something's not right here and that's what seasonal affective disorder is like but I I'm really excited to say that this year, after several years of kind of working a little bit harder every single winter, I'm feeling really prepared 
for this coming winter. I'm feeling really pumped. I'm ready. I feel like I have my safeguards in place so that hopefully I can ride out this grayer season with a smile on my face. And I kind of wanted to share some of the things that I'm doing to make sure that I can march into this holiday season with my head held high and being able to focus on the festivities and the new traditions I'm going to be building with chips and the beauty of winter rather than this this sinking feeling as the sun disappears every day <laughs> and in michigan the sun does not stay very long uh when we're at such a high latitude you guys in canada probably know what i'm talking about when you're so high up on the globe then you don't get quite as much of the sun as the rest of the people closer to the equator but i am not afraid this year and i'm not afraid this year because one i have a sun lamp very important every single morning i sit down and i write my joy journal and i have my sun lamp on for about half an hour and i keep my sun lamp very close i keep my eyes downcast so that it hits my eyelids the sun lamp is a very special kind of lamp it's very it's kind of expensive it was like a hundred something dollars to invest in it and i don't regret a single penny spent because i use it every single morning once i can tell that seasonal affective disorder is starting to come i put it in front of me and I open up my joy journal and I sit down and I have a hot cup of peach tea and I have an adorable new mug by the way I kind of wanted to show off to you guys it is a green giraffe mug isn't that so cute I can't believe how adorable this is I got it from a woman named Nikki creations or Nika creations uh, on Etsy and I just fell in love with it you guys know how much I love drabs you guys know how much I love the color green <laughs> So I managed to get that adorable green draft mug, but I sit down every morning with my sun lamp for about anywhere from 20 minutes to 40 minutes depending on what I feel like I need and I leave it on. It is bright as I'll get out. I will show you guys it another day uh, and it really, really, really helps. I feel like the sun lamp is probably like 70% of the help to get through winter. 5% of that is probably the fact that chips did help remind me that the sun is not gone forever. I know that sounds ridiculous, but when you have seasonal affective disorder, it feels like when the sun goes away and you look outside and it's just gray sky, the sun doesn't exist anymore. That's how I feel. That's how it manifests in my head. I go, the sun's gone, it's never coming back, and I'll flop on the ground dramatically and just mope there and be like, darling, the sun is gone, it's never coming back. Will I ever see the sun again and I just kind of flop around on the ground miserable because that's just the quirky way that my head decides to kind of express the imbalance of chemicals and that's where the seasonal affective disorder comes from. The lack of exposure to the sun, like the sun or the intensity of actual sunlight, not the, the less amount of sun that you get during winter. But the lack of intensity is what causes it in me because um, it messes with the chemicals that are released and the hormones that are released in your body and adds up into seasonal affective disorder, aka sad. But I really feel like the sun lamp is a huge part and then Chips making that offhand comment that the Australians are bo borrowing the sun was another huge help in my life because it made me go, okay, it, the sun is somewhere. And now anytime I look out at the sky and I see gray and I go, oh, I'm gonna get really sad now because the sun's gone forever. I just remember my friends like Jacqueline in our Patreon community, Joe in our Patreon community. Uh, oh my goodness, like I remember there's so many like I not I have so many friends I don't know if I should say all their names just in case they don't want me like blathering about them who live in Australia and it's fun to imagine that my Australian friends are borrowing the sun for the winter and it takes away some of that despondent like the sun's gone forever feeling and then the final thing and one of the fun little quirky things I wanted to show you today and kind of unbox with you is I've started realizing how important it is to indulge just a little bit in giving myself things to look forward to. And I've started doing that by doing uh, like fun joy moments is definitely a huge part of it, but I'll come back to that in a second. But also little subscription boxes. And I never, ever, ever, ever thought I would be somebody to do those kinds of things. And this isn't sponsored. This is just literally something that has changed my entire outlook on seasonal affective disorder in winter. <laughs> so don't worry this isn't sponsored or anything this is just something that's sincerely helping me but i i 
tried to think of myself despite all of the stuff around me as a little bit of a minimalist and I try to live very simply. I don't really get attached to stuff. But winter is hard for me. And on an offhand, I just tried out this thing called the Neko box. And for those of you guys who know Japanese, you know the word Neko means cat. And so I tried out the Neko box on a whim because I always thought the idea of subscription boxes was kind of fun, but what's the point of getting them if it's not something that makes you really excited to open up and see? And so I always wanted to try one and on Instagram this summer while I was stuck in the apartment in Taiwan, not really able to do a lot, I saw the Nako box go by on Instagram and it seemed so cool that I was like, you know what, maybe I want to try that. So I indulged in a subscription and it was really cool because I got all sorts of fun things like this came in the mythical box. It's a beautiful little ceramic crane and so if it'll focus, oh come on it's so pretty, it's so pretty, I want to show it to everybody. There we go, there we go. But like this came in the mythical box with beautiful prints and you get a cool little like magazine thing. Uh, there's like a whole bunch of it is actually up on this shelf back here behind me. But I love Japanese culture and so it was a perfect fit. I love ceramics. Uh, I actually have a lot of ceramics from the Appalachian Mountains around the house. And I love Japanese culture and Chips and I uh, both study Japanese. Uh, he is also getting ready to go to Japan. We're going to be going there at some point in the future. We thought this summer, but it'll probably be later uh, for his work. So like on a level of not only interested in the culture, but also for his career. We're both studying Japanese. I studied it for years in high school. And it's there's just something about the aesthetics that we have always both found very pleasing. And I was so excited because it is ceramics. It's these beautiful ceramics, just to show you. Like here's one from the matcha box. This is a beautiful ceramic piece meant to be able to put your matcha powder for your tea in, for your green tea. It feels amazing. I know it looks so plain, but there's something about the texture of this box. I can't stop petting it. It's so soothing and beautiful. And each of the ceramic pieces comes with a little explanation about where they're from, what prefecture they're from in Japan, and what they have been like stylized from. I have a little sakura bowl right here. It's so cute. I have a beautiful vase downstairs, um, a chrysanthemum sake vase that we, go, we use as decoration for now and I can put little flowers in later. And it was just so much fun to open up those boxes and I actually opened them up with chips. I thought about unboxing them for you guys but it was like, oh I don't know, I don't know. And then one day I had three boxes saved up that I hadn't opened and chips was like, we're gonna open these. So we opened them together and we really loved it. I have prints, I have a beautiful kitsune print uh, from the Mythical Creatures box for October and then I've got um, like beautiful, really pretty little um, like cloths that I've just been decorating my house with. And I really loved it. And I know this sounds like an ad, but I'm trying to express to you guys, it was so fun to open up that box and have all these random little things inside of it. And it hit me that that's something I'm looking forward to in winter. And it was unbelievable. I was like, wait, I'm looking forward to something in winter? I'm looking forward to something during winter. It was really like a eureka kind of light bulb moment when I realized, oh, this is so cool. Snail mail is kind of one of those things that has the same feeling. The letters I get from people who really love our community and they want to send me even just little letters talking about their original character cats they've created. And it's just so much fun to get snail mail, but it can be like, sometimes there's a lot of it, sometimes there's none of it, it comes and goes. So to be able to have something reliable to look forward to all winter, kind of took my breath away. I'm still kind of stunned. I know this seems like an ad. It's totally not. It just is something that has become a really big tool for me to get through the rest of the gray season, basically. And I, I'm so excited. And it, it's just something I really, I'll try to unbox the boxes. Only one comes a month, uh, which is pretty good because Chips is like, where's all this stuff going to go? <laughs> But there's tons of stuff that comes in it, so I'll unbox the future boxes with you guys. But that's one of the big things that made me realize I'm going to be okay this winter. I have something reliable to look forward to every month that's going to arrive. It's going to be a bunch of beautiful treats from Japan. And it really has changed my entire outlook. So I wanted to share that with you guys if you also struggle with kind of getting through things sometimes. Um, having something to look forward to when you feel depressed is really important. 
and it's so much easier for me to just like sign up for something like this and walk away from it and then be surprised when it shows up than it is to have to like drag yourself through planning things and i'm not saying you should like spend money you don't have this is definitely an indulgence on my part but it just felt so good to know okay i did that now i can turn around and i can focus on just getting through winter as cheerfully as possible and i know i have something in the back of my mind that i don't have to put any more work into to look forward to and it sounds really obvious when i talk about it and it definitely sounds like who has the money to do that but i just wanted to stress if you're like me and you just really normally make yourself have to come up with the list of things to do to look forward to something i'm really great at setting my own goals and trying to make myself dance to get to my carrot at the end of a stick but it it, it doesn't have to be like a subscription box even if you can just have something that you can set up that you don't have to think about you don't have to track your own goals you don't have to like walk through a whole big series of to-do lists before you get to the reward at the end of the line knowing reliably that you have something to look forward to has really helped me so much and knowing that it's going to be something that's kind of a bit of a random surprise and it's a treat that way really 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 has has perked me up so so much so that's a big thing that i just wanted to ramble to you guys about and that i really want to share with you guys in the future because i love the pieces i think they're beautiful i love the box i think it's a little bit pricey um even for what it is maybe a little bit pricey but i really really think that it could be a good tool and worth the cost if you are like me and you just need something that makes you feel bright and happy and excited and it's simple you don't have to invest any more thought into it and maybe i mean it could be like stickers there's monthly sticker subscriptions there's like i don't know maybe you could set it up so that you could like have a, a movie you're really looking forward to be dropped from your google playlist into your box like your inbox like oh your movie was purchased on this day like pre-purchase a movie for yourself or something but just find those things to look forward to and don't be afraid to take the plunge <laughs> if you think it would be a good investment and you can fit it in your budget to do something like this because i don't regret it at all and again, I know that sounds terribly like an ad and terribly privileged, like somebody who has the money to throw at this, but it, it between the sunbox and this thing to look forward to, it's already 80% rewired my winter. Exercise is definitely an important part for seasonal affective disorder, but little bright moments of joy. So not only those big packages, but little bright moments of joy are really helping me jump into this season like never before. And one of those bright moments of joy is stickers, which is so obvious, which is so ridiculous. <laughs> you guys know how big I am on joy journaling. And you guys know how big a deal I make about joy journaling. And I try to show up at least once a day and just quickly write down three things a day boom you know three things a day sometimes they're really long sometimes they're really short little bullet points and i just kind of put them down the list um like the here's a picture like they don't even have to be about me like right here i was happy for stacy my friend stacy who does stacy plays when she posted a picture of her new home that she bought for her mom in the mesa on her twitter and i thought that was so cool that she was able to do that so writing down even joy that you're happy for for other people can really brighten your day some of the things it's the first day of autumn i wrote down in the early september uh, I played Final Fantasy with chips, which made me happy. It can be little things like that. And the, looking forward to those little moments of joy has always sustained me and helped me grow stronger in my feeling of mindfulness and gratitude, which sounds so like, ah, new agey, rambly stuff, but it really has changed my life in so many ways. And <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I have a hard time joy journaling in winter because when I try to think back at how gray the day was and I try to pick joy out of that, it's hard when you're, you, you're struggling with, even if it's just seasonal depression and you know if you can hold in there till spring, you'll be fine. It's hard to look back on a day where you feel like all you saw was gray and pick out joy even though you experienced it. And so something that I started doing I don't know what triggered it. I don't know what accidental thing made me realize, hey, I should try this out. But it hit me. What if I use stickers in my journal? 
and I took out a few stickers I had left over from being a nanny and I started putting stickers in my joy journal and all of a sudden it was so much easier to write down my joy moments. All of a sudden, any excuse I had to use a sticker became a reason to joy journal. Any any reason I had to grab some of the special stickers I had sitting around forever, like sticking around, haha, forever, became a reason to sit down and go, wait, what can I actually add into my joy journal? And it's been a huge motivator, a huge, huge motivator. Like I'm gonna cry if I think about it because it's hard to admit that I have problems writing joy moments. I have problems just coming up with three things that aren't too trite. Sometimes you know you're not trying hard enough to actually be mindful of things that went on in your life if I made the bed today is your joy moment. And sometimes it's a valid one and sometimes you know that you're just putting it there to fill in space in the journal and you need to dig a little deeper. And it's no fun to beat yourself up over trying to write in your joy journal. That's not the point. And so pulling out my stickers <laughs> and being able to add stickers into my joy journal has actually proven to be one of those bright, happy, colorful moments that makes me sit down and go, oh, I want to use that sticker. Is, is there something related to that sticker? I want to use that chipmunk sticker. Have I seen chipmunks recently? No, but the acorns have been really cool and it just has helped guide me. So if you're having like a really hard time with joy journaling or if you haven't tried it out or if you need something just bright and happy to kind of swing you from moment to moment, I highly recommend trying out stickers. And I just grabbed a whole bunch of stickers from when I nannied and started putting them in there and sometimes just seeing that little burst of color so that things have changed really helps. Sometimes just having that much in there, an excuse to want to, to use the sticker has helped me drudge up more joy moments or ramble and, and pull my mood up more than just sitting there and trying to meet my usual quota of three a day. So I wanted to suggest that to you guys because it's so obvious and yet I didn't think about it in almost seven years of joy journaling. This is the first time I've used stickers in my joy journal and I have gone from zero stickers and only pecking a little bit of the way into my joy journal to since I started using stickers only about, let's see, 20 days ago. I covered this much space. I'm at the very end. I'm on the last pages of this Rowlett Joy Journal. I'm gonna have to start a new one soon. All of it has stickers just kind of helped give me that extra motivation. And I've recently gotten a ton of wonderful stickers sent to me in snail mail from Renee in the Patreon. And it's just been fantastic. And I can't wait to add to my sticker pile and really start sticking more stickers into my journals just because especially right now when it's gray outside this is really really helpful just to have those little bright happy moments of color and light and sometimes trying to come up with a playful excuse to use a lisa frank sticker okay so now that i have talked one of my camera batteries into oblivion I want to get to the point of why I decided to sit down and make a vlog today. Believe it or not, it was actually not to talk about seasonal affective disorder at all. I wasn't going to mention it. I wasn't going to really dive into it. I wasn't really prepared to delve deeper into it. So if you guys have more questions about it or if you would really like to know other tactics I use to try to get through the winter and how I'm trying to really really hope to get through the winter with a big smile on my face and being able to indulge in the joy of the season instead of just trying to endure, then please feel free to ask me questions. I highly, highly recommend talking to a professional and if you can't, at least looking up all sorts of tactics, seeing if you can afford or if affording a, a lamp, uh, one of the sun lamps is a good move for you. Uh, it's not for everybody. It's not like using a normal lamp at all. It's way too powerful. You only are supposed to use it for a certain amount of time every day and it can actually mess up your brain chemistry and make you depressed if you're not supposed to use a sun lamp. So you definitely want to talk with professionals first. Thankfully, we have the family doctor, Chips' mom, so I was able to really work with her on all of this, and that's why I feel like I'm doing as well as I am. Also, keep in mind, I take a lot of vitamins every day because I'm vegan, and so I'm really on top of my vitamin regime. I think that's a huge part of it too, but I didn't actually start this vlog to do a PSA about seasonal affective disorder, and before I get into the next part, I wanted to do another little side story. Yes, this is not an ad for the Nickel Box Company. This is not an ad for any of their stuff. It just meant a lot to me to have 
that shift it really truly felt like a eureka moment to realize how fun it would be for me to have those little things to look forward to coming in the mail during winter and it's it's so nice and i'm not endorsing retail therapy if you have problems with retail therapy i know a certain mom of mine who i need to keep an eye on with that sometimes then don't don't indulge in that but all those things are for later for now i just wanted to share something fun and happy with you i thought it was going to take a few minutes and of course we went into a much deeper more serious ramble but who knows maybe i said something really important for some of you to think about I mean, honestly guys, if you could find a reliable pen pal, maybe you could just spend the winter exchanging postcards with people. Maybe that's something I'll start doing. I have a lot of Siri postcards, so what do you guys think? Maybe a winter postcard exchange every month or, or something like that so that we could have something really nice to look forward to? I don't know. There's a lot of options out there and I'm just really grateful that looking forward to things in the mail that you don't have to think too hard about <laughs> has become one of the things that has really helped me change and really helped me enter this season with a smile. I didn't think that was possible before this year. So all of that said, and again with a disclaimer, I have nothing to do with the company other than being one of their customers. <laughs> I actually have another thing from the Nickel Box that I want to share with you guys called the Zaka Kit. Dun dun dun! Oops, sorry about that, Yarny. This is a Zaka Kit, and the Nickel Box actually started producing Zaka Kits, stationary kits, with Japanese stationery and items from Japan. Really, if you've looked at anything from Japan, you know they can do cute, and they can do stylish and cute really, really well. Everything in Taiwan that was cute was <laughs> imported from Japan, I promise you. There were, I mean, there's cute stuff natively, too, everywhere you go, but man, Japan can do cute very well, like a science. And so I was really excited when they offered a stationary kit. And I actually got the Zaka kit because we had an error with shipping and so they sent me this one for free. So this is the first Zaka kit I've ever looked at. And I'm really excited to crack it open and see what's inside. And I'm really hoping it'll be from some really cute fun stickers and maybe my very first roll ever of washi tape, which I can use. And this all comes full circle, bear with me here which I can then turn around and use in my joy journal. So that's what I'm really hoping for, is some cute things that I can turn around and use in my joy journal if I really like what's inside the Zaka kit, because I haven't looked yet, because I was just, I was honestly just going to do like a few minutes video of like, that's so cute, good to see you, it's autumn now, bye. <laughs> and of course it got a little bit more in depth and serious than that, right? But if I really like the Zaka kit and what's inside of here and it's good stuff for my joy journal, then I might subscribe to this one too and just start having to make more videos to compensate for that so that we can just see cute stickers every month and maybe I could send some of them to you guys or if not that, then at least inspire you guys to look for cute things too. So I'm really excited. I have no idea what's going to be inside of here. And see how excited I am? This is so cool. This is bright. This is colorful. This is good. And it's important to remember that sometimes it's it's okay to indulge, especially if you can feel it's almost like a dose of, of joy medicine to get you through winter. <laughs> so that being said, here's the Zaka kit. Uh, I have not looked inside of it yet. It's really small. Normally the Nako boxes are much, much larger and they're hand delivered to you and you have to sign off for them. The Zaka kit, technically you're supposed to have to sign for because it is, there's a custom form on the back and everything, sent to you all the way from Japan, which is pretty exciting because you have this really fancy, like huge custom kit and half of it's in Japanese and you're like, whoa, written on the back and it has all these stamps all over it. So if you've never gotten international mail, it's kind of really cool just to let you know and let's go ahead and open it and see what's inside so I've not looked at this at all I just undid the tape so that we could go oh and then really quickly they do different monthly themes and this month's theme is Neko is cat the actual cat so this is the the founding subscription box for their new stationary box is cat themed and I really wanted to open that with you guys because I thought you would enjoy a cat themed nickel box um and the cat themed nickel box is actually coming this month too by the way it's November's box oh, as you can see I'm really excited <laughs> But here's the Zaka kit. It's going to be cat themed. I'm really excited. Here we go. It's a cute cat on the front. And what do we have back here? Oh my gosh, it comes in a little package. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. The Zaka kit by Nickelbox. October's theme is cats. 
The very first Zafa kit is here, brought to your door straight from Japan. Enjoy your curated selection of beautiful stationery crafted by much loved Japanese designers and artists. And if you guys follow Eat Your Kimchi, or who's now like Eat Your Sushi, you guys will know they've been like working with some Japanese chefs and artisans, and it's so amazing to see people. Uh, it kind of reminds me of my grandmother when she would do her paintings who are really dedicated to their craft so it's just oh, it's fun because i think a lot of these people are small scale artisans that they buy out the stock of for these boxes and that makes me feel good too so anyway there we go and it has a list of things we can find on the back and as i dig each one of those items out i'll kind of glance over it and read it off to you guys but here is our stationery kit, the cat kit, it has adorable washi tape and stamps on it for the month of October. Let me go ahead and carefully open it and then let's see what's inside. So this is one of the, like the Zaka kit is like half the cost, less than half the cost. And so I'm not expecting like as much as a Nako box, but I'm really excited to see what we have. Oh my gosh, is that my washi tape? It's my very first washi tape! It's my very first washi tape! <gasps> Little sleeping jelly bean cats! Oh my goodness, you guys! Okay, hang on. I've gotta show all of this. Oh, there's a pin! Oh my goodness! Okay, so the first thing that jumps out at me is that we have some jelly bean cat washi tape! And I can use that in my new joy journal, which is actually going to be my Sims 4 joy journal that was sent to me from Make2, the YouTube channel Make2, who was super sweet, and they sent me one of their Sims Camp joy journal, or journals, I guess it, it, I guess it isn't a joy journal, but I'm going to turn it into one. And we have Sims 4 Cats and Dogs coming out next week, and I really know that's going to take over our main channel and provide a lot of joy and excitement for so many people on our main channel and I'm really hoping I can decorate with the stuff inside of this cat box in my beautiful joy journal over there and we can start with jelly bean cat washi tape so everything see how everything kind of becomes a big giant circle telling adventures to you guys and then being able to enjoy adorable nickel washi tape as I joy journal the adventures that I'm telling you guys into a joy journal sent to me from my friends on YouTube from The Sims. It's just amazing how it comes in a big circle like that. So that is our washi tape. It is Bean Cat Washi Tape. Uh, Shinzi Kato is a famous Japanese Zaka designer. You'll find his art, uh, his art on stationery, ceramics, accessories, and more. Use this cute bean cat uh, mame neko tape for planning, journaling, decorating packages, gift cards, and other creative projects. I very happily will. I'm so excited to put that in my joy journal. And then here is a pen. Play Color K, Color Your Daily Life. This is a colored marker. marker. These amazing double-sided marker pens come in 12 beautiful colors. Designed by a classic Japanese stationery brand, these liners can be used for notes, planning, journaling, drawing, and gift messages. And it looks like I got the color like, let me see. Is this, oh, it's a pretty peach color. Like it's really a lot more pink. I uh, can't see it at all over here, but it looks really like peachy. But it's actually more like peach pinchy. Like Momo! Momo! Guys, that's perfect! We're, for our Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Let's Play on Twitch, uh, we're gonna run a whole bunch of Let's Plays of those, but one of them is going to be with a corgi puppy named Momo, and now we have Momo colored, peach colored pens that I can write in in my joy journal too. See what I mean? Whatever the little thing is that makes you excited for you personally, Try to find that, because everything I'm pulling apart, I'm referring back to how I'm going to use it, and it's gonna to be totally different than how you guys might. All right, and then we have a little kitty cat, little kitty cat sticker, just a little sticker flake probably thrown in there as a bonus. It's very cute, little tabby. Come here, little tabby. Do you know, are you camera shy? There we go. And this actually looks just like Juniper, who is the new family cat who just got adopted by our family in North Carolina. I might be able to show you Juniper when we go to visit for our vegan Thanksgiving down there. And then this right here, uh, maneki, uh, maneki, uh, maneki Neko mini envelope. This colorful Neko mini envelope will bring you good luck. Use for gift notes and small gifts or as decoration in your planner. So it's a cute little envelope. It's really bright. I really want to get some like foil washi tape some point because that would be really fun. I like it. I actually probably will stick it up on, uh, like treat it like a little tiny baby print and stick it up on my wall somewhere because that would be really fun. And then here, oh boy, I'm kind of blown away by this. 
This is really cool. This, this is, what is this? Hang on, I'm gonna take it out first so I know what I'm looking at. This is kitten washi paper. These stunning woodblock print kitten washi papers have 28 sheets and can be used for letter writing, journaling, gift notes, wrapping small gifts, or as napkins and coasters. Crafted in Japan by world famous Zaka brand Classic Key. So these are actually washi paper notes. Look at that, that is so cool. Okay, so this is gonna, it's kind of like tissue paper basically but a lot firmer and you can decorate with it. It's got some beautiful cats on the front and it has a cute little crab on the back. And I wonder if I might write myself or chips like little notes and then tuck them in my joy journal or if I might send these off to like some of our Patreons. That would be really fun. Kind of like weave together the community like that. Maybe send my niece a note. I think it's very pretty, that's for sure. And then we've got another, another little itty bitty kitty sticker, just a little teeny piece. That's so cute, little sticker flakes. I need to get more of these. These look, they don't look like stickers, but a lot of these, if you start playing with the back of it, yeah, there we go, will actually have the back peel off. So if you get a lot of the little sticker flakes from Japan, uh, I've noticed that they look completely like they're just die cuts or something, like little pieces of paper, but they're actually adhesive. You just have to play with the back for a second to be able to get it off. And then this is sleeping, no way! Are they really stickers? <gasps> they are, these are so pretty. Look at these, these are the sleeping cat stickers. Look at that beautiful rainbow color. Oh see, this is one of those things that would make me really excited to go, how could I use that? I need to think up a joy moment that happened today and I'm gonna write it down and use that sticker. So this is a really great thing to get. And then we've got some schedule decoration stickers, like those cats. These are schedule decoration stickers. These cute stickers are illustrated by famous Zaka designer Shinzi Kato. Use them to brighten up your planner, journal, calendar, study notes, gift cards, or more. So cute little schedule cats. Oh, there's even like little nurse hats down there. Perfect for our vet playthrough with the upcoming Let's Plays we're doing which I bet nobody else in the world is looking at these and going, I'm gonna stick that in my joy journal because I'm going to play with cats and dogs as a veterinary office in Sims 4. <laughs> so it's all about finding that unique way you're going to use things. And I really love those. Those are really cute. Um, I'm so happy. I have so many cat things now. And then we have a really adorable Tokyo cat print. So this is the last thing in here and this is a Tokyo cat print, as you can see. Very lovely. The prints that they send from the Nickel Box, I have never ever had a problem with. My favorite are definitely the Sparrow print I got in the, no the Machi Box, which I'll show you guys at some point in the future. It's actually right there. And then the Kitsune print, which is amazing from the um, Mythical Creature Box. But this is, this is a very, very beautiful print. Really high quality, very well done. And I'm really excited. So I have my very first ever washi tape to use. I have my very first cat stickers from Japan. So you get two cat sticker sets. And the washi paper, I'm gonna have to play with it to feel like how would I use this? Would I use this often? But I like the little sticker flakes. The lucky cat is definitely gonna go up on my desk so I feel like he can watch over me and possibly work with my beautiful lucky crane from the Mythical Creatures box. And I would really, I don't know, I would have to look into it and kind of like look over my budget. But I like, I like that sense of the unexpected. I like the variety in here for sure. And I really love looking forward to like what's gonna arrive next. So I'm gonna play with some of these pieces and I'm gonna see how I would use them and incorporate them into my joy journal. Would that be something I would do? But I definitely feel that little burst of excitement of like, that was so fun to look forward to. That was so fun to unbox. And as I sit down and examine each item, I get to appreciate like, oh, this came from Japan and it was picked out. I really love that you can appreciate it even more because you can look up all of the details about what's in it. They do the same thing with the Nako box and I like that too. Again, not an ad, I'm just saying this is something for me that gives me that fun little fizzy bubbly excitement. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into it guys and think about if I wanna subscribe to the Zaka kit too and how many <laughs> Ultimate Dog Simulator games I would have to play on the main channel to justify that. But I really like it. I really like it. And I know at least with this kit, I'm gonna sit down and be able to try it out in my joy journal and feel that extra little burst of color. 
And I do think there's something very important for those of us who just need that extra push to get through winter and it's kind of more gray atmosphere or if you're going through anything rough in life having that thing that you can just sign up for you know it's going to be fun you don't really know all the details of what's going to be in it but you know you're going to enjoy it can make a huge difference so there's a good chance you're going to be seeing the zaka kit <laughs> pop up and you're going to be seeing me play with the next month's zaka kit i missed the one for august which is a pity because it was really cute little shibi inu stuff um, but there's a good chance you'll see some of those things it's not me trying to convince you to spend money. It's me finding a new way that my frugal self would have never really indulged in before to get through winter with a smile on my face. And I'm sure there's many more options. So if you guys have some, I would love to hear them in the comments. I would love to start a conversation with ways that are low key. I think that's something that's very, very, very important to reiterate. One of the things that majorly appeals to me about this is I don't have I don't have a lot of energy during this time of year and what I do have goes into work and family with just a tiny smidgen left over for myself and I don't think anybody who's going through uh, any kind of hard time or depression or just generally feeling worn out and exhausted should have to look at that smidgen of time they have for themselves and try to stretch it out so that they can think up big projects. There's a huge appeal to just being able to sign up to something, not have to like figure out a bunch of different things that you have to do to get your, your treat and just enjoy it. So that, just food for thought, because I think I often overload myself, especially at this time of year where my reserves are down and go, if you want your treat, you have to work for it. And sometimes when you are pushing through and you are getting up and you're doing your chores every day and you're going to work every day and you're trying to put a smile on your face, if you're also going through depression and you're going through some harder times, you're doing enough. And you need to hear that sometimes. And sometimes giving yourself this little extra treat, like honestly, I don't know if I'll continue with these things when spring comes because I won't need them for that purpose. If I do, I might treat them very differently in my budgeting and I might treat them very differently in uh, if I should get more stuff, but for winter, they serve a different purpose. So I just want to reiterate that too. Sometimes it could be like a hot bath. It could be taking a Saturday off and not having to go out with friends in a healthy way. You just want to sit down with some tea and your cat and a book, but whatever it is, if you if you know and you know in your heart of hearts that you're giving it your all you are showing up and doing the things that you know you should that you're not being too self-indulgent uh in a bad way just give yourself permission to do that one little thing to carry yourself through a hard time and that's kind of what i'm doing with the nickel box and the zaka kit i'm showing up to work <laughs> doing my best at it i'm showing up at home i'm trying to keep my home clean keep myself organized i'm trying to improve my health and sometimes that plate is full enough and you don't have to add another item to go okay and now to deserve your treat your carrot you need to do another task just take it a little easier on yourself if you're like me and you tend to make yourself work five times harder for that extra treat just let yourself have that extra but just like any kind of treats like eating cupcakes or anything know when you need to go okay my winter diet of extra is over and i'm ready to to look at everything a little differently now so there's just my little ramble. This definitely went a lot deeper than I thought it would. Speaking of work and speaking of showing up and doing things I need to do, I need to dive back in to stuff for the main channel. But it was really wonderful just to spend some time with you guys here on the vlog channel and doing silly things like unboxing a Zaka kit and talking about the nickel boxes and joy moments. And I just really hope that maybe my words can reach somebody out there who needs them. And I'm really excited to hear your guys' thoughts and ideas on low-key no extra self needed to stretch out and plan and plot ways that you can give yourself things to look forward to when you know you're going through a hard time. I think we could probably all learn a lot from each other that way. So there we go guys. I'm going to get back to work so I can maybe get more Zaka boxes just to kind of swing myself through this winter with a smile and have lots of fun stickers. I'm like a stickerholic now. I need more stickers. <laughs> to be able to use in my joy journals and i will see you all next time bye guys i am in my own house squirrel <laughs> i am at my own desk in my own office 
You can wave that tail all you want at me, but I am where I belong. You're in your tree. <laughs> you go eat your black walnut. You don't need to you don't need to just sit there. <laughs> he has been yelling at me for like ten minutes. Look at him go. Slowly wiggling his way down the tree. Flicking his tail at me because he's so mad that I dare to be in my own office. That's just so funny.